Hi YouTubers, my name is Diana Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel will consist of uh, self-tape auditions, because I'm an actor, <laughs> and then it will also have some singing clips, some dancing clips, some skill sets clips, <laughs> try to say that 10 times fast, um, and also it will have uh, primarily episodes that starting today, starting with this one, um, will take you chapter by chapter some of the books that I have purchased that I believe are from teachers that really truly know what they're talking about. They don't sugarcoat anything. They don't, you know, clap clap, oh you're so great or you know anything like that. No, they really get down to the nitty gritty and they're very specific. Um, so with that, I'm going to start the first chapter of, I believe there are 26 chapters in this. So with the next 26 episodes, <laughs> this is what we're going to be doing. So this one is Uta Hagen's A Challenge for the Actor. I'm sorry, I wish there was a cover for this, but there is not, but that just means it's important. So her first chapter is extremely important. And I love that she puts it in the first chapter and she doesn't wait until the very last chapter to do it um, because it's about having faith and it's about continuance and moving forward and all these other kinds of things that you have to have as an actor of the theater. You have to have faith. So how she starts this off, she starts talking about um, history of theater in the United States. And she goes way back to the Puritan era where even theater was banned in some colonial states. Actually, most of them, because it didn't meet Puritan standards. And then she jumps to the Lincoln assassination, which actually did affect theater. Then she, you know, jumps forward about, you know, 50 or 60 years later when um, the uh, recession started happening and the depression, First World War. I know that was, you know, a little further back. Um, and then the Second World War. And then we had the Cold War and all these things, all these monumental things that happened in our history in the United States actually did affect theater a lot because as we know, there's a lot of um, writers and playwrights and poets that would write things that were going on during the time in which they lived. And those things would often get performed or inspirational ideas would be taken from, you know, directors and other actors and groups and things like that and they would take some inspiration that they got from those writers and they would create a performance out of it so no matter what theater was being affected not only through the performances but it also affected the theater itself you know sometimes ticket sales um whether or not there should be theater or you know all these all these other kinds of questions and all these ups and downs and all these other kinds of things the point is, is not to know necessarily the history, even though it's important, of um, American theater, but it's important to take away from that, and what I take away from it, is that even though theater had its ups and its downs, it went through complete rejection. It went through an assassination. It went through a depression. It went through wars. It went through hell and back. And it's still here. It's still here, which is amazing <laughs> because you would think after all of that, you know, people might start to give up. People might just go, you know, this really isn't working out right now. You know, this is going on and that's going on and it's just not right and maybe this is a sign telling me I should stop or this is a sign telling me this or whatever. Make all these excuses pretty much to just quit, just throw it away. But it's still here. It was here yesterday and it's here today, more so today than ever, which is fabulous. 
Uh, there's a lot of theater in Los Angeles. There's obviously a lot of theater in New York. And, you know, there's, there's small community theaters absolutely everywhere, and it's the most beautiful thing. Um, so what I take away from this chapter and what I think you should take away from the beginning to the very end is to not give up. Is that theater has been through it all, and if you are a person of the theater, an actor, a patron, an audience member, director, producer, costume designer, anybody who you are, if you are part of the theater and that's your home because that's how it feels inside, then keep going. Have that faith. Have the faith, the same faith that you know that theater is always going to be here and it's going to continue on. Have that within yourself. Because if you don't, you won't stand the test of time. You won't stand the depressions, the recession, the wars, the assassination. You'll face complete rejection. All of it. You're going to experience everything that the theater has ever experienced. But if you still stand and you insist that your existence matters, you're going to make it. And that's the kind of faith we got to have. So that's it. <laughs> I tried to make this video under 10 minutes, which I did, which is wonderful. Um, and I hope this helped you. In the first chapter, you gotta have faith. Have to have faith. Keep going. Do your thing. However you do it, do it. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. I have this excellent quote from her because that's how every cheesy YouTube video should end is with a quote. Here we go. It says, the knowledge that every day there is something more to learn, something higher to reach for, something new to make for others, makes each day infinitely precious. Uta Hagen said that. Page 20. Read it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and I will see you next week. Bye!